This problem says the graph of the two lines is given. You can see those two lines and part A says use the graph to estimate the coordinates of the point of intersection. So here's your point of intersection and they actually just want us to estimate it. So if I draw a line straight down from that point it'll show us the X coordinate. Kind of hard to tell exactly but I think it looks like that's four. And if I draw one straight across, yeah, so it looks like this is six and this is four. And of course, this is your X coordinate and that's your Y coordinate. So what would the point be? Four, six. four comma six. Notice they already have the parentheses. So if you're punching that into your computer, you don't have to put parentheses in there. Just put four comma six. Now it says find the equation of each line. So the equations of the line, well, first of all, here's your point, four comma six. And we're going to use that point to write the equation of the line. Now there's a couple ways to do this from algebra one, you hopefully can remember it. One of the equations of a line is y equals mx plus b, and that's probably the one that people remember the most, and it's good because it's a good equation, but it's probably not the most useful equation, at least not in this example. There's a more useful one, and that is point slope form, which was this. And the reason this is more useful is because you have your, you have your slope, right here, and then you have a point. Actually, you know what? This one would be just as useful, now that I think about it. Because you also have your y-intercepts here. In this picture, you can see your y-intercepts. So either one of these will work. In fact, I'll do, I'll do the red one in both ways. So let's do the red line first. What's the slope and what's the y-intercept for the red line? Well, the y-intercept, you can see it's right up here is 12. So B is 12. And your slope is going to be take this point and go count down one, two, three, four, five. Five down. Over two. Wait, did I go? Is that right? Five down? Yeah. 12 minus six. No, it should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, because I'm, go I'm going to the intersection point. So six down and four over. So the rise is negative six and the run is positive four, which reduces to negative three halves. So your equation is y equals negative three halves x plus 12. That's your red equation. Now the other way you could have done it is using the point slope form and you could have used this point four comma six and then you um i don't they didn't actually say what form to write it in so technically you could have written it in that form and that equation would be again you need the slope which is negative three halves that equation would be y minus six yeah, equals negative three halves times x minus four by the way these two equations are the same they're just written in different forms. And you could see it if you distributed this, you, you distribute this in here, you get negative three halves x minus, or well, sorry, plus six. And then when you move the six over, you'd get 12, which is the same equation as right there. So you can see that those are both the same equation. Okay, so that's how you do that one. And so let's do the blue line now. For the blue line, the y-intercept is, I'm going to have to erase this so I can see it better. The y-intercept looks like it's 7. Yeah. So b equals 7 for the blue line. And the slope, notice you go down 1 and you go over 4. So negative 1 fourth is the slope for the blue line. So notice how they're both slanted down and to the left or it goes, sorry, from, um, down to the right, not to the left. It goes, they go, they both go down to the right, left to right, they go down, which means the slope is negative. Remember, this would have a positive slope. This has a negative slope. Okay? Yeah. Remember that from algebra one. So your equation would be, for the blue line, your equation would be y equals negative one-fourth x plus seven. And for the red line, again, the equation was y equals negative 
3 halves x plus 12. Now it says use the equations from part B to find the coordinates of the point of intersection. Well, that's a little, that's a little um, circular in nature because if, if we had used that point, if we had used that point for the point slope form, then we would, you know, we would, in order, the reason that's a little bit tricky is because we assumed that this point was correct and we used it to find our slope right so if what well, maybe we really should have done is we maybe shouldn't have used that point maybe we should have used the intercepts because the intercepts were more obviously true so the intercept here is 8 and the intercept here is 12 we maybe should have used those to calculate the slope if they if they didn't want us to assume that that was a correct approximation does that make sense and so our slope would have been down 12 and over 8, which is also negative 3 halves when you simplify it. Okay, so now that I see this problem, that's probably what they wanted us to do to use that point. And for the blue one, they wanted us probably to use 7 and 20. It's hard to see this. What is that? 28? Yeah. 7 and 28. So down 7 and over 28, which is negative 1 fourth. And so how do, you find, how do you find where they intersect? If you remember this from Algebra 1, the way you find where two lines intersect is you take the equations and you, there's a couple ways to do it, but in this case you just set them equal to each other. So negative 3 halves x plus 12 equals negative 1 fourth x plus 7. And now we move the x's to one side, so negative 3 halves x plus 1 fourth x, move the 12 to the other side, equals 7 minus 12. Let's rewrite this as 6 fourths so that we have common denominators. So this is negative 5 fourths x equals negative 5, multiply by 4 fifths or negative four-fifths, the fives cancel and the negative cancel, you get x equals four. So if x equals four, we plug that into either one of these equations, doesn't matter. It's easier to plug it into the blue one because then the fours will just cancel, right? And you get negative one plus seven, which is positive six. So four comma six is the intersection point after all, which we really kind of knew it anyway. <laughs>